Welcome to highlights from the sixth round of the Cupra Sim Racing Series from the Slovakia Ring. Moritz Lerner would have pole position yet again in the Cupra Sim Racing Series alongside his main championship rival David Noj. On the run down towards Turn 1, it was a great launch from Moritz Lerner, but behind him, Benz Bankin also had a great launch, pulled the slipstream from Moritz Lerner and gained second place on the run into Turn 1. Jack Keithley and Kirill Antonov would battle out over the first couple of corners and then Antonov would come under pressure from Norbert Posan. Behind that, though, Zoltan Suti and Ben Supanek would get by the young Russian and set their sights on a top five place. Kirill Antonov would then receive a little bit of contact from race winner in WTCR Mikhail Asgona and that would send Martin Barner and Norbert Posan off the road at turn three. Asgona though was under pressure from Juan Manuel Gomez and he would get moved out of the way into dive bomb corner. Behind that Tim Yarshaw would be the next one eyeing up a potential pass on the WTCR race winner. A touch of contact and that would gain him the place. Further up the order, Jack Keithley would be getting by Gianmarco Feducci in a fairly abrupt move into the same corner. And then later in the lap, Kirill Antonov would try and make a move on Juan Manuel Gomez. It would push the Argentinian driver into the side of Ben Zupanek, which then spun him into the path of Gustavo Fregato, dropping him a few places. Further up the order, and Ben Spanky would finally go for a move on the race leader, Moritz Lerner. It wouldn't quite pay off. Moritz Lerner was able to carry the momentum around the outside and hold the race lead. The momentum lost, though, from Ben Spanky was what opened the door for Mira Esports driver and championship leader David Noj to find his way through up into second place a bit of contact between the two of them some fairly aggressive defensive move into t3 it wasn't quite enough for jack keithley to find his way through then tim yarshall spun out kirill antonov it would cost kirill antonov an awful lot of places and tim yarshall the place to juan manuel gomez then race leader moritz lerner and championship leader david nosh would both come into the pit lane at the same time Moritz Lerner's teammate Jack Keithley would then make a move for the lead on Benz Banky, opening the door for Zoltan Suti to close up that gap. They'd all come into the pit lane at the end of this lap. Moritz Lerner and David Nosch would both retake the lead in second place, but Zoltan Suti was able to get by in the pit lane on Benz Banky. Unfortunately, in doing so, he did speed in the pit lane. He would serve that penalty fairly quickly, but not before costing Benz Banky some precious time. Pitting very early, Mike Stoffmill had moved his way up inside the top 10. Juan Manuel Gomez would pass him, and unfortunately for Stoffmill, he'd drop outside of the top 10 before the end of the race. David Noj would fire everything he could at Moritz Lerner, his main championship rival, but the race win would go the way of the German. Williams Esports knock up a third win out of three in the endurance format in the Cupra Sim Racing Series 2020, but Moritz Lerner marks his place as a main championship rival.